Hi! Welcome to Flights of Fancy Storytime. I'm Anne from the National Air and Space Museum, and I'm here to bring some of our museum stories to you. Today I'm thinking about rovers. Rovers can travel around to explore different worlds. Sometimes people drive rovers like a car. Astronauts drove lunar rovers to explore different places on the moon. Sometimes rovers are operated from far away. We've sent robot rovers to Mars to help us explore that planet. Mars rovers can travel over the planet, take pictures, make discoveries, and send information back to Earth. Even though Venus and Mercury are rocky planets like Earth and Mars, it's harder to send rovers there. Mercury moves so fast that it's difficult to land there, and Venus has a hot and toxic atmosphere. One idea for a Venus rover is to use wind power to travel on flat areas, but it would have to be made from special material that wouldn't melt in sulfuric acid. That's a pretty cool engineering challenge. Any rover that goes to another planet would first need to be launched from Earth in a rocket to head out on its mission. Here's a story about that. Once upon a time, there were three friends who loved space, exploring, and adventures. They were Millie, Ruth, and Lou. One day, Millie invited the friends to come to her house to see a surprise. She wouldn't tell them what it was. When the friends arrived, Mo jumped up and down and said, It's a rocket! Millie said, We have a new playhouse that's shaped like a rocket ship. The playhouse had swings, a slide, and a ladder that you could climb up to get inside. My mom and dad built this playhouse just for us because we love space adventures so much. Climb up the ladder into the rocket and see. Inside the rocket, there was enough room for Millie, Ruth, and Lou to sit and have a tea party. Mo joined too, but he preferred to draw with crayons and play with toys in a corner. Ruth said, this is awesome. This is where we can plan our space adventures. I'd love to take a rocket to explore another planet. Mo was drawing a picture of Mars. He said, we have rovers on Mars to explore for us. Lou said, we can slide down and pretend we're on a mission to another planet. I want to explore Venus. Lou went to the top of the ladder and the friends started the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, lift off. Lou went down the slide and imagined she was on Venus. She walked around carefully and then she hurried back up the ladder again. Yo, she said when she got to the top of the ladder. Venus is stinky, hot, and horrible. It would be better to send a remote rover there. Then we wouldn't have to be where it smells so bad. Lou decided to draw a picture of a rover for Venus. Ruth said, I'm going to Mercury. I bet the rocks on Mercury are something to see. Ruth went to the top of the ladder and the friends started the countdown for her. Three, two, one, lift off. She slid down and landed on Mercury. She picked up a rock, put it in her pocket, and then climbed back up the ladder. Mercury was okay, Ruth said, but very hot and rocky. What are you drawing, Lou? I'm drawing a Venus rover, replied Lou. I think it could be solar powered. Maybe it could have a wind sail and cameras. It would need to be made out of special strong stuff to work on Venus. She showed her drawing to Ruth. Ruth said, that's a great idea. My Mercury rover needs a shield to protect it from the sun. It's going to take rock samples for study. Millie was drawing a picture of astronauts on the moon. She said the moon rovers were like open cars that the astronauts could drive around. They drove to more places on the moon than they could just by walking. Hmm, said Ruth. Our scooters are like rovers because they have wheels and they help us explore. Mo said, Mars is the best place to explore. Of all the planets besides Earth, it's the most comfortable for people. Right, Mo? No stinky poison air, said Lou. Mo continued, the robot rovers are finding lots of cool stuff about Mars. I drew an even better rover for people to use on Mars. He showed the friends the picture of a new rover he imagined. It was a big car that would fit all of the friends so they could explore together. Good idea, Mo, said Millie. Let's all go together in a big Mars Explorer. They all joined the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift off, and they slid right down onto the surface of Mars. They got into their Mars Explorer and started looking around. Look, said Ruth, that looks like a good place to pick up some rocks. They stopped the Explorer and got out to pick up rocks. Each friend found some rocks that they wanted to collect. Then they got back in to travel again. Phew, said Lou, I'm glad we have this rover to help us carry these heavy rocks. 
That area over there looks like it might be a cave. Or a sinkhole, said Millie. Maybe it leads underground. We should take a look. He drove over to look at the icy cave. Then Lou pointed in another direction. Let's climb that high mountain, said Lou. They headed toward the mountain. Then they all got out of the explorer and climbed the big mountain. When they got to the top, they jumped up and down to celebrate. Wow, said Ruth. We really covered a lot of Mars in our Rover Explorer. Good one, Mo, said Lou. It's fun exploring with you, said Millie, and they gave each other a high five. It's craft time. Today we're going to have an engineering challenge, and we're going to try to make a vehicle that can be use wind power to move. For this, you're going to need some tape, uh, some bendy straws, um, you all need your scissors, and some uh, different weights of paper, and um, maybe some recycled materials. I have this um, packing material that I think might work really well for this for this idea. So I thought about uh, something that would use a, like a sail to move across a smooth surface like my table. Um, I'm going to use the uh, first for my first one. I'm going to use this material, and I just cut off a little piece of this um, to be the bottom part of my of my vehicle. And then I'm going to use a bendy straw, and I have this big orange one. I'm going to attach that on to be like a like a mast that's going to hold up my sail. So I'm going to attach that with some some black tape. I have some black tape here, and. I'll just tape my mast right on, like this. I think I might need two pieces of tape to really hold it on there securely. There we go. That looks good. Now I'm going to use a, a piece of paper like this for to, to see if I can blow on it and let it move across the table. Um, and maybe I could attach that with tape, or I could put two little holes in the paper with my scissors and just cut the paper and then put two piece, two holes in it. And then I could slide this right on to the straw. Yeah, that looks like kind of like a little boat. And I think that might sail along if I blow on it. I have another idea if you, if I didn't have this material, maybe I could try using a piece of a uh, little bit heavier construction paper and I have a small straw that I can attach to my construction paper. And that, just like this. Yeah, and then maybe I could attach a piece of paper to the top of that, like this, with some more tape. I'm excited to try this out to see what it's going to look like when I, um, when I try to blow it across the table. What do you think? Do you, which one do you think is going to work better? And you can tinker around with it and see what you think might work the best. Let's try it. Let's see. I'm ready to try. Well, which one did you think worked the best? I hope you try this activity at home and make your own designs for uh, sailors that can go across your table. Um, and uh, if you like our story times and you want to see more of us, give us a like and a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel to see our story times each month. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Bye bye.